Okay guys, so I've been asked by a lot of people how to make Alex with an already grown dog that has really crazy drive. Um, and um, specifically I had an email a few weeks ago from a police officer, I think he's in North Carolina. He already has a patrol dog, super crazy possessive for the ball. Um, and the, he's having a lot of trouble with the outs. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do outs um, with uh, this dog here. This is your typical dual purpose green dog. Tons of drive for the ball uh, and not a lot of hell on So I'm gonna show you how I go about the process. Dog has been e-collar trained in other senses, like he does obedience and stuff on the e-collar, but he's never done now. So we're gonna get it going. Because he's looking up, he's not looking there. He is. <laughs> he's looking up at me when we're looking at him. Now we got the ball. Oh, oh yeah. Good. So now I'm going to show you guys how I introduce L with a dog like this. Like you can see, he's crazy on the ball. Like, you know, super drive on the dog, right? For the ball. So I have a long line on this ball, you'll notice. And that's kind of important. Now, what I'm going to do here is I got my e collar set to kind of a medium level. And I'm going to give him a command, I'm going to stop fighting with him. And I'm also going to do something else because he's really intense about that ball. Okay. Stim out. And the stim's continuing. Cautious. 
is because these balls are slippery and these dogs are crazy and they will bite anybody that gets between them and the ball. Not in a mean way. Oh, just like that. Right? Not in a mean way. But just because they have so much, so much drive, it's the way they're bred, right? Good. That's why I like doing this stuff as puppies when they're already 18 months old. It's a lot more difficult. So now I'm going to let them win. Out. Electric. Electric's on. Electric's on. Wait for the moment. Showing the ball because he's getting stuck. And I'm not going to rely on using more stem. There it is. I'm going to mark now because he's starting to get it. And reward him with a little tug while I put the other one away. Oh boy. Ah. And we let him win. Out. Electric again. He's going to do all these nonsense over there. That's fine. I got a ball. It's lots of fun. The electric stays on until he lets go. And the more he kind of ignores, you can see he's just riding the skin out. He's holding on to the ball. And I'm just making this ball more and more fun while the electric stays on him until he does the right thing. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Super precise, right? Electric's on the entire time. I'm just going to wave him out. on that ball so the electric stays on the whole time if he's either biting that ball or pursuing it the electric's gonna stay on until he makes a hey, hey. oh almost and I just gotta make this ball more attractive than the one he's got and that electric's on it's on hey, hey, hey. electric's on he's trying to get him there it goes Electric's off. Good. Now he's got the new ball. Good. So the whole purpose, real quick, I'm going to escalate on him with the electric. The whole purpose is to teach the dog what it means before I can escalate. I have no problem escalating, but I'm going to escalate from a place of understanding with the dog. He's really got to know what this thing means. Okay? So. There's his ball. Make the command. Out. He's going to run off, do his usual. There you go. That's it. And he let go a lot sooner. Maybe this is his favorite ball. We'll find out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Let him have that one. Now make the command. Out. Electric. Yeah, you can see he likes that ball in his mouth more than he likes this ball. If possible, try to use two identical balls. Yeah. Good. Good. Good boy. Try to encourage him. Hey, buddy, come on. Yep. And I'm not going to use the electric to make him come right now. I'm going to just try to encourage him forward. Hey, buddy. The outs never happened with me. That's the other important thing. Look at that. You're getting yourself all tied up. All undone. Alright. And now we'll do it again. Out. Electric on the dog. Electric on the dog. You can see he's more tired and more like going in. Oh, electric back on, out. Good. Now you can be watching this and be like, oh no, he's becoming more possessive, not less possessive. It's not working. It is actually working. He's just, the whole purpose of this is not to make the dog let go fast. Not yet. It's so that he understands 
when I actually turn the e-collar up on him, what it needs. That's the important thing. And he took the trade. So now this dog is ready for a higher level of electric. Now I'm seeing what I want to see in terms of, he understands, he doesn't want to cooperate because he's tired now, and he's more possessive, and he's not as willing to engage in something else. So now you're going to see a higher level of stim on the out and an immediate relief from that stim with a reward. So again, new ball, right? Out, electric. And that's okay, you know? 
three steps forward, one step back. We saw two, a bunch of really good outs, and then all of a sudden, you know, he's like, no, I'm not gonna do it, okay? We just take him through it. This is gonna be a multi-session process. Good. Good. All right, command again. Ouch. Electric. It's showing you stuff like this. Not because it's like groundbreaking. A lot of trainers do this kind of stuff. Um, you know, it's more that like I'm using the electric on a higher level. I'm showing you from the beginning what it looks like. How you get an out on a super possessive high drive dog like this. I'm showing you the process right from the beginning. Super green dog doesn't know anything to do with out. He's he just has tons of natural genetic drive for this thing. One more and he's done. He's actually already done, but I've been going a little longer for the sake of the video. And then we'll talk about what we're mo doing moving forward with him. Aus. There we go. Good boy. Good. Good job, buddy. And now we're just going to do some interactive stuff. All I'm going to do is encourage him to come forward. And when he does, I'm not even going to fight him for the ball. We're just going to, I'm going to let him possess it. I'm going to pet him. And it's a good stuff. The, the, the good stuff always happens close. Nothing bad ever happens close. And y'all, those of you that ask me how I get the dogs to jump on me, you know, with the ball and they want to shove it into my stomach and stuff, this is how I do it. It's in the beginning, even with an older dog like him. Yes. I just show him, being close to me with your ball is not a problem, dude. When I, I it'll be a while before I ask him to out right in front of me. Right? So, yeah, good job. Good boy, you can see there. He went back and then he remembered, he did all his outs over there. He's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm coming close to this guy, right? Yeah, I see it. Good job. Good boy, yeah. And you can see already the engagement starting a little bit. Yeah. Good job. So, you gotta temper everything, guys. It's not just high electric, right? It's also showing the dog that there's a way to win. There's a way to be successful. Now, how do I very, I'm going to do this maybe like two more sessions. Then I'm going to just switch to one ball. He's going to let it go and his board's going to be fighting again. And then I'm going to do it from me holding the ball with my hands. He's got to let go of it. And so on and so forth. So, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, like and subscribe. Good.